Welcome to Iceland, land of fire and ice, and the occasional troll, where every corner holds a new adventure. Our journey begins with anticipation and excitement as we embark on this nine-day exploration to the mesmerizing land, with its majestic mountains, cascading waterfalls, and vast glaciers stretching as far as the eye can see. However, just as we thought we knew what to expect, nature had other plans. Now to Iceland, where a volcano has erupted near the country's capital city of Reykjavik. Now residents are being evacuated as that lava, incredible images of it just spewing out. But this unexpected turn only adds to the thrill of our expedition. Little do we know that the volcano that erupted was the least of our worries. Join us as we brave the elements, embrace the unexpected, and discover that in Iceland, the true adventure is the journey itself. Miss the rugged beauty and ever-changing landscapes, emotions run high. From awe to exhilaration, from fear to sheer terror, and every moment becomes a cherished memory. Join us on this ring road adventure, it's going to be a wintry blast. Our journey begins in Charleston, South Carolina, where we board our flight and fly to Boston International Airport, where we have a layover for about three hours. And then from there, we board our flight to Keflavik International Airport, where we'll get a rental car and proceed on to Reykjavik. But first, we need to get some breakfast, and we're going to the bodega. Hey, are you gonna get bacon? Bacon sounds so good. Smell it. It's puppy over there. Oh, you smell it. The bodega has great breakfast sandwiches, excellent coffees, and they even have an outside patio. Very nostalgia of a New York deli. All right, this is where it begins. Our journey starting here in Charleston at the bodega. We've never been here. We came here last week and it was like uh, the tree fell down and they closed. So what did we get? We got this thing called the cow. Amy got a cold brew, right? Did I say that right? Cereal. Cinny sticks. sticks. And then you got what for a drink? C cereal, milk, cold brew. And then I got some, some really good latte. And Ellie's here. Eat your milk bone. Get your milk bone. Be a good girl. For our first visit there, we give them an A plus plus and two gold stars. Highly recommend the Bodega in Charleston. They have one downtown in Mount Pleasant, and I think even North Charleston. It's all about that roll. The Kaiser roll is the famous probably flown in from New York. The Cinestics French toast was very good with the vanilla pudding. Thanks. All right, breakfast done. Okay, back from breakfast. Ellie is at camp and we are ready to go. This is us, and that, and that, and that. We're going, we're doing it. Here we go. Travel day, three, two, one. <laughs> Made it through security. First stop, beer. This is a Blood Iron Cider and a Red Ale. Two hours until we leave, so stopping at Common House Ale Works to get a beer because we're sweating because we brought our winter coats and uh, it's hot. We're in Charleston, it's 80 degrees, but check out that cool bridge in Charleston. We're now at the gate and it moved two spots, which is right next to where it was before, but now we have like an hour plus to wait, so we're just hanging out here. Waiting to board to Boston, shipping up to Boston. All right, we're boarding. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. The 
guess I found some peace Through the day to the evening Without shouting and screaming Something new to me Time for some dinner. This is like real chowder. Okay, quick update. We are in Boston Airport and we go to get dinner at this place called Legal Seafoods. And all of a sudden. Sorry, announcement. And we went to a place called Legal Seafoods to get some seafood while we're in Boston. We have a three hour layover and Amy pulls up her phone and she gets a message from Iceland Air saying that the volcano has resumed activity. Now to Iceland where a volcano has erupted near the country's capital city of Reykjavik. So we might be seeing a volcano when we get there. Uh, they said that it shouldn't interrupt the, the flights. We should fly in safely and uh, we'll update you when we land. It's kind of exciting. It's also dangerous, and uh, who knows? First time to Iceland. Imagine sun shining, clouds in the okay, we're heading to the gate. We got 10 minutes to board to Reykjavik. Don't let yourself. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were getting our row by row, and then they said, okay, everybody else. cheese baguette. I don't know if you can see it. Toasty and warm. Toasty and warm. It looks like they had a little heater and then she got her Gullfoss. Gullfoss beer. Maybe I'll get a bite. Not now. Whenever you get down to the bottom. And I'm watching Asteroid City and it's kind of boring actually. I love, I love his movies but it's pretty boring. Atlantic, so I don't know what it says. Did I change it? Oh, there we go. Salt Verk. Two hours and 57 minutes remaining. Here. We just went over St. John's. Taking a break from the restroom. And uh, the guys in front of me basically have their seat like right here 
so ridiculous. But we're almost there. Two hours, 30 minutes left. And I'm stretching my legs. And here's the bathroom. Freshen up. Yep. While it's kind of a way of life in Iceland, our hearts and minds go out to the folks impacted by this volcano. I know they evacuated a whole town and some people even lost their homes. So our prayers go out to you. Stay safe. As I edit this vlog, it's still going off. That's the volcano in the distance. Wow, it's like an orange glow eruption. Coming in over Reykjavik. Well, this is cool. Wow, it's all red. I see now. Wow, it's all glowing. There it is. Wow. It's like a glow. Holy cow. The type of volcano is a fissure volcano, and it's not what you expect when you think about a volcanic eruption. Take for a second, and let's imagine a fissure volcano is like a crack in the ground where hot lava comes out. Picture it like a giant zipper on the Earth's surface, but instead of closing, it's releasing hot lava from deep underground. Now these aren't safe for tourists to see up close, and that's because they can be really unpredictable and dangerous. When a fissure volcano erupts, it doesn't just shoot lava straight, it spews it out in different directions, sometimes even shooting rocks and ash as well. It makes it very risky for people to get close, and so we never attempted to try to get close to this volcano and we left it behind us so even though fissure volcanoes might seem fascinating it's best to admire them from a safe distance from a video or a picture so I've included this from a closed caption TV and for educational purposes I hope you can see that this isn't like a giant volcanic mountain it's really just a rip in the earth back to the video Okay, we made it. Okay, we've arrived in Keflavik Airport. And we're going to get our bags. I think it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, US time. You want to do a self selfie? Don't worry. <laughs> want to take a picture with it? Yeah. Will you take out my pic? Quick look at the duty free shops. I'm trying to find beer to bring with us, but I don't see any. Oh, maybe over here. Here's the beer. Stay tuned for a sneak peek at this Iceland series right at the end of the video. Okay, uh, quick update. Um, got off the plane, went through a customs. What do we do? We went through customs and um, we made it through the airport. Then we thought that the rental car was blue rental car. So I said, oh, I'll just walk over. It's just across the parking lot. And it was very, <clears throat> very, very cold and very windy <coughs> at five o'clock in the morning. And then as I got towards the rental agency, 
Amy told me it was Ring, uh, which is not even at the airport. <laughs> it was 10 minutes down the road, so I had to backtrack to the airport again. Then we finally got a shuttle to Ring Car Rental, and we're here. And we have a, a Mitsubishi thingy. It's an EV. And uh, we just drove. We have, what, 15 minutes, and the coffee shop behind us opens. And then after that, we're going to Sky Lagoon at 10 a.m. So we have like an hour to hang out, get some coffee. We've been up for 24 hours. And um, I think that's where I'm going to end the video. So that was our travel day. Probably one of the worst travel days we've had in a long time. But we're here, and we made it, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe, because this is going to be a really wild... I don't even know what I should call it. Expedition, journey, adventure. Bye dudes. Coming up on this Iceland series. This is a sneak peek at what's to come. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a minute. We made it to our first stop. This is Cliff Lens Foss. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, we are making our way to the bar. It's not slippery. Okay. All right. Conditions haven't really changed too much. It's still snow and I can't see anything. A little treacherous path here.